Hey there everyone, I'm Balkifanoit, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time we snuck into the Strayless Temple here in Calvalis, and we fought the same boss battle four times. Lazy. Get used to that though, they reuse boss battles a lot in this game. And today we are leaving Calvalis, but not until we do some optional stuff, like talking to this kid. Strangers, do you want to play tag with me? Sure. Tag is fun. Okay, let's... Okay, let's get ready then. Oh, let me get ready, man. Do you want me to tell you the rule? Sure. It's a simple game of tag. Most of my, one of my pals will be it. And all you have to do is get away from him. He's lying, by the way. It's more than just one kid. And we have to avoid the kid for a, a set time. Yeah, that's very simple. Start! And we just have to run away from the kid. It's really just that simple, and as you see, I have a lot of kids after me now. So the kid was lying! Ah! This is hectic. Oh crap. <laughs> Whee! Well, I got caught. <laughs> Yippee, you got caught! You didn't get caught for 11 seconds, so I'll give you 11 gold. Okay, that sounds reasonable. If that was your best shot, don't bother trying again. So, yeah, you will get money based on how many seconds you actually stay away from the kids. But you can also get some items if you do good enough. And the prices you can get will pop up on screen right now. Alrighty. So now let's go back to the harbor and not go on the ship. Instead, it's time for us to do the warehouses. There's only two this time though, but there is a lot of things you can do. So just like last time, I'm gonna cut until all the, the boxes are at the right place. But let's just do the first one right now. Yeah. Simple, simple. <laughs> and we get a panacea bottle. Okay, not bad at all. So I will now cut till I get my next item. There we go. So now the box is like this, and you will get an elixir. Very, very nice. Now on to the right warehouse. There we go. Simple, simple. And we get a charm bottle. Very cool. And one more. And the final price is... Ifrit. Uh... Okay, we just get Ifrit just like that. Who can summon him? Not Stan. Uh, no, no, no. What the heck? Yeah, in this game, Ifrit and the other summon spirits are a little bit different. They are actually one-use items you can use to summon them. I personally don't like that as much. I prefer just summoning them, but oh well. I guess it's a little bit too broken that you can summon them whenever you want, but uh, all in all, the summon items, they're not bad. At least not early on. But yeah, now we are done in Cherik and in Calvalis in general, so let's talk to the captain and let's move on to Fitzgald. Yeah, I kind of forgot the name for a second there. <laughs> oh, Fitzgald this time, eh? You'll almost go around the world. Very well. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I healed up and everything, just in case another dragon will take me on an adventure. If they do that again, though, that would be that would be very lazy. <laughs> Maybe Mary gets a sword in this time. Hey, yeah, yeah. So where are we going now? Ooh, are we actually going to the snow continent already? Isn't that a little bit too early? Oh wow, it actually looks like it. And... No. <laughs> Just completely... No, not to the snow continent and yet. No, no, no. Do will not. Do not want. <laughs> yeah, usually the snow area is late in game, so... If we actually could go there now, that would be a little awkward, I suppose. <laughs> and that's that. It's called. Here we are. We arrived. We'll go see Eileen. She's in charge of the Fiskal region. 
We should be able to see her if we go to, to the Rembrandt Mansion. Actually, Leon is lying, but I'll get to that when I get to that. And of course, we have some stuff here. So let's open this bag to get a rune bottle. Very nice. And thank god we don't have any annoying crabs that block our path to a good treasure chest. God, I hated that thing. Anyway, do you sell... Oh, I actually talked to her from the front. Ew. Do you sell anything? No, you don't. Don't get fooled by the blue ribbon, by the way. Do not buy one for Mary. It's not worth it. And I believe we also have... No, actually, it doesn't seem like it. Really? There's... Or is this the warehouses? Yes, okay. <laughs> I was a little... Sorry to worry there, but I know there's a warehouse there. What is it? But okay. I will not be going over that one just yet, though. Just like always. And welcome to new... New stat. No, it's that. No, it's Welcome to the town. Yeah, yeah. Get out of my way. Why? A rich young boy is shopping at the harbor by his lonesome. He looks like a servant. <laughs> no, sis, he's an orphan. He's certainly not rich. Mother told me that these kids had no parents, so they were adopted by a rich woman. No wonder so they're so different from us. Oh. You and your sister aren't fashionable like us. Your sister is working every day, covered with dirt. She's so dirty. Yeah. <sighs> hate people like this. You're going home by the lower road. Your friends are there, aren't they? There are so many children without parents hanging around. I'm afraid to go there. The town looks so gloomy where there are poor people around. I hate it. Oh, I fucking hate people like this. I know I usually don't say things like that, but oh my god. I want to punch something. Hey, cat, come over here. Psst, 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 psst. Now she's asleep. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> I'm kidding, I would never hit my cat. But I would gladly punch elitist assholes like this. What? Who are you? Are you telling us what to do? We're not doing anything wrong. Shut the hell up. Yeah, we're not doing anything wrong. Why can't we t tell poor people that they're poor? It's the truth. <laughs> That's why I hate spoiled ki rich kids like you. What? How dare you talk to us like that? Our papa is a respected man in this town. I don't give a rat's ass. Your papa could be the king and I would still kick your faces in. Whew, okay. I will say though, venting like this feels pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Whew. So what? What's your point? Ow! What the Why are you yelling at us? We'll get you for this! No, oh, run. Get the hell away from me. You should go back to your sister. Thanks. Oh, I, I seriously felt my blood started boiling right there just by... Just by reading that. Oh my god. Rudy, you're actually very kind. <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing what I think is... What I think is right. Come on, let's get... Let's get moving. Whew. God, that... I haven't. I have actually seen people like that, and I, I'll. I'll be honest. I'm. I'm usually a calm person, but when I see people like that in real life, and yes, they do exist, I just want to punch their teeth in. It's just oh, aggravating. Oh boy. Anyway, we have the arms shop, which is both the armor and the weapon shop, and of course, we want to buy some new armor for our people. We want two kite shields, one for Leon, one for Mary. We want three armed helmets, not a land hat, and three gauntlets. Still nothing for Mar uh, Mary, what? Still nothing for Philia to put on her arm or her, uh, well, shield slot, sadly. Uh, armed helm, gauntlet. Gauntlet, armed helm, kite shield. And there we go. Now we are really up to speed. <laughs> I will say though, I really like this town. It's it's pretty damn big and you got a lot of stuff to explore, I suppose. But uh, we're not really here to explore much. We're just here to raid the place. 
If you go out here to the balcony, you will get a free Panacea bottle. Not bad, not bad at all. And if you go up here, you will have some decent view of at least a little bit of the town. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> there is also the uh, classic minigame of the Mach Kid in this place. If you remember Fantasia, you had to race a kid. There's also that in this town, but I'm not gonna go over that yet. You see these arrows on the ground? Yeah, they're they show they're, they're just there to show you the uh, the route of the Mach Kid. Actually, I'm gonna show you where you start a race. It is actually right over here. Yeah, just talk to one of these kids and the race will begin. I will not do that yet though. Because I don't really know the, the route, even though it's actually... They actually show it to you, but... Later on, later on. Instead, let's just go to the lens shop. Eileen. Why, Leon? What are you, what are you doing here? I heard your cargo ships are being attacked. Yes, we've been having problems with that lately. I have a good plan to deal with this. Would you like to be a part of it? Now, Eileen. She might kinda look a little bit familiar for those who watch Tales of Eternia. Remember the, the lady that gave you the rewards for actually collecting the lenses in the game? Her name was Irene. Yeah, it's the same person. I don't really know why they changed it, but Eileen and Irene in Eternia, the same gal. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like cameos, and you know I do. A good plan? Hmm. Well, come on in. I'll listen to what you have to say inside. Can you excuse us? Uh, yes, no problem. Alrighty. This way, please. Okay, let's just follow her then. Treasure up. Cop! I was one step away from getting that treasure. I don't think I introduced myself. I'm Eileen Rembrandt. I'm the general manager of the Fiscal Branch. Huh. Rembrandt, huh? Have we heard that name before? I believe we have. And those folks? They are Stan, Rudy, Philia, and Mary. Wow! Leon actually remember all our names. That is actually kind of surprising. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Stan Eileron. I'm Rudy. Katrea. My name is Philia Felice. And I'm Mary. Argent. Nice to meet you, Eileen. Okay. <laughs> I like that Mary actually had to walk out of the text box and back. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet with you all. So, Leon, tell me about your plan. We'll be a decoy to draw out the pirates. When they come, we'll round them up. Uh, you make it... You make it sound so easy. They are very organized and good at what they do. We lost a lot of shipments this month already. All we have to do is catch the leader. Once we find out where they're from, we can do a lot of things. Yeah, that is actually very true. I I'm impressed, Leon. But the risk is too high. You don't trust me? I didn't say that. Besides, these fools here are useful as well. <laughs> Wait, Leon actually kind of gave the party a uh, compliment there, even though he called them fools. Hm. Maybe he's actually softening up a little bit on us. Not really, but I like to think that. Fools? Useful? What do you mean by that? He called you a fool and he called you useful. Just, just think you're useful, okay? Yeah. That's really all you need to remember. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. Except a large shipment. Oh wait, we're the decoy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have no other choice. But please, don't do anything rash. Remember, I'm the one who will be disciplined by Hugo. And I'm sorry if you heard Skype there, I am sorry. Don't make any mistakes. Do you understand me? Yeah, I do. You can use my house as you like until your departure. I'll get the ship ready. Please, look at... Look for me at the harbor in a little while. Okay then. So, yeah. Before leaving, of course, let's raid this basement. We get another Bellbane. Damn, they really want my characters to be fast. And a overall EX. Very nice. And like always, of course, I will use a rune bottle on that Bellbane. To get a red Bellbane. 
Now, if you're wondering what you will get if you use a rune bottle on the wormy apple... Okay, I guess I can show you. It's a little waste of rune bottles, but since you can buy them, it's not really a big deal. You will get jam. Okay. Food sack value 30. Not really that great, but at least it's better than food sack value minus 200. <laughs> and once again, the red bell bane goes to Stan. Yeah. If you don't if you don't know, I prefer giving all my herbs to uh, to the main character just because I I like to be overpowered. <laughs> But now that Eileen is gone, there's a new person here we can talk to too. Exchange our lens and let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is the person that will exchange your lens. Let's see. What's the what's the rate? Uh, eight. Ah, okay. It's not bad. I would have gone for nine, but eight is okay. Uh, it's not that I'm having any problems with money, but eight. Yeah, I would go for that, definitely. <laughs> so now we just have to go to the harbor, really, and talk to Eileen to start our next little adventure. We actually do not need to go to her mansion and wait. She actually just waits at your har at the harbor now for you. But uh, I will warn you, though. Before going to the harbor, you want to be prepared. Buy everything you can. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have a maximum amount of life bottles. I don't need rune bottles right now. I'm gonna buy three panacea bottles, three more holy bottles, spectacles, and everything. Because when we go to the harbor and talk to Eileen, we will be fighting a crap ton of battles. And I'll be honest, it is actually pretty hard. Especially if you are going for... to actually get every item. Let's see, yeah, there's Eileen waiting for you. So... Yeah, next time we are going to take on the whole pirate fleet. And I'm really not looking forward to it. I don't like this part at all. <laughs> it is hard. But it's, I will admit, it is also pretty epic. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.